brakes may struggle with the F900 RS direct throttle and lack of play, which is a byproduct of its ride by wire. Needless to say, though, the K Tech suspension transforms it into an apex hungry racer. Some Ducati Cup riders, who sampled the bike during a test session as Cadwell BSB, said it was heavy. Sure, with a long wheelbase, it's a little more sluggish than a V2, but it handles superbly with a front end that needs scant guidance. There's certainly a sturdy sensation which just adds to the abundance of mechanical grip, and it rarely threw a wheel out of line at Anglesey, despite plenty of encouragement throughout the day. It's extremely stable. There are over 200 names already registered, so MSVR and BMW might have a headache during the selection process, although there is already talk of running two grids as details are ironed out. However this unfolds, make sure you find time to watch. The racing will be phenomenal, as will the soundtrack. Naked Ambition, BMW launched new F900 or British Superbike Support Series with competitive bikes costing an affordable £11,000. First published on July 28, 2022 by Dan Sutherland. Anyone who's raced a motorcycle will know it can be hideously expensive. The consumables, the tires, the fuel, the crash damage, and even the travel, it all racks up and can make it incredibly difficult for emerging talents breaking through the sport. BMW UK are looking to tackle that though, revealing a new F900 or British Superbike Support Series that will see race-ready bikes available for £11,000. The BMW F900 R Cup will take over from the long-time contested Ducati Tri-Options Cup Series from 2023 and will see up to 40 riders with a Clubman ACU license and above compete on identical track-prepared naked machines. But what exactly goes into the finished build? Available to buy race ready from your local BMW dealership, the competition machines build on the firm's road biased 104 brake horsepower naked bike, which is powered by an F850 GS derived 895 cubic centimeters parallel twin. All the racing machines will then be treated to a standardized track package, including K Tech fork internals a K-Tech rear shock, a cone-shaped aero exhaust, rear sets, a quick shifter, and racing bodywork. On top of this, the standard Bridgestone S21 tires have been ditched for racier Pirelli Diablo Super Corsa SC and Diablo Rain tires, meaning everyone's on a level playing field at every track. We wanted to offer up-and-coming riders the opportunity to race at a national level with greater exposure, in a one-make series where rider talent rather than budget dictates how competitive you are, BMW UK's head of marketing and PR Scott Grimstall said. The F900R provides a perfect platform of power and agility for riders looking to make their mark on a bigger stage, and the new series can become a stepping stone to super stock or super bike racing. Those who get involved with the series will have the option of purchasing a bike and having the race kit fitted by their preferred BMW dealership, approved partner Fortis Racing or their own support team. Fortis Racing will also be present at each round, offering on-site race support and spares for all riders, should you run into any problems. BSB Series Director Stuart Higgs added, A much-repeated question is when can we offer an unfair naked bike class on our racing platform? History reminds us of simple, accessible race classes that provide great competition and action. Combined with the prestige of the BMW brand, the F900R Cup deserves to be a success. BMW F900R Racer in Detail Step away from the engine Although running a more open exhaust system, the parallel twin engine internals have been left as standard. This keeps costs down and should help with reliability. Ready-made package BMW will sell you the race-ready F900R for £11,000. Although still a decent whack of change, it's a damn sight cheaper than many other racing classes. Naked Attraction The F900R Cup will be the first naked bike class to run alongside the British Superbike Championship since the Harley-Davidson XR1200 Cup, which joined the National Series back in 2009. Gentle proportions the F900R was not built with motorcycle racing in mind and as such as a roomy, gently set naked roadster. As standard, 
there's a seat height of 825 mm. Race on Sunday, sell on Monday the F900R road bike is available in a 47 brake horsepower, A2 license friendly version. With up to 40 bikes competing at each BSB round over two races each weekend, we could see a spike in sales amongst race-loving youngsters. Alastair Fagan By Alastair Fagan You may also like New name on the block, China's fastest-growing bike firm are heading to the West with low, low prices. It was only in early 2020 that the first spy pictures of some surprisingly well-designed, mid-capacity bikes with Western-style design started to emerge from China. At the time, it was suggested that they'd become new Benelli models, but they turned out to be destined for a completely new brand called QJ Motor, launched by Chinese firm Qianjiang Group in May of that year. Initially sharing Benelli engines and chassis parts, just two years on there are now an astounding 37 models in the range, including singles, twins, fours, electric bikes, and more. Engines range from 50 cubic centimeters mopeds to 800 cubic centimeters adventure bikes, and QJ Motor has now confirmed the first bikes will be reaching the European market before the end of 2022. Several models have just been awarded European type approval, meaning they pass safety and emissions regulations, and the first dealers are being signed up in Germany. With the type approval hurdle passed, getting the bikes on sale in the UK should be a relatively easy task. The first trio of bikes reaching Europe are the parallel twin naked SRK700 and SRK400, plus the retro-styled SRV550, which shares its chassis with Benelli's Lianzino 500. This gains the larger 554 cubic centimeters engine that MV Augusta is set to use in their Qinjiang made Lucky Explorer 5.5. The SRK700 is the most intriguing model of the three, as it has no Benelli equivalent, and features a 698 cubic centimeters parallel twin that's remarkably similar to the unit in Komodo's 700 CLX. With 72 brake horsepower, the Euro 5 certified engine's peak power exactly matches that of Yamaha's MT07, as does the claimed 49.4 lb.ft of torque, although QJ Motor claimed to hit both peaks at lower RPM than Yamaha can manage. With a full 15-liter tank of fuel, the SRK700 rolls in at 196 kg and will come with a German RRP equivalent to 5,900 pounds, that's 1,300 pounds less than an MT-07 and 700 pounds less than a CF Moto 700 CLX Heritage. Step down to the SRK400 and you have a clear rival to the Yamaha MT-03. Powered by a 400 cubic centimeters parallel twin it makes 41 brake horsepower, around half a bhp less than an MT-03 but offers 5.5 lb.ft more torque than the Yamaha at 37.3 lb.ft and doesn't need to rev as hard. Its weight penalty over the Japanese bike is more substantial at 18 kg, for a total of 186 kg wet. Finally, there's the SRV 550. A 47 horsepower A2 license friendly machine that shares much with the Benelli Lianzino 500 and gets an extra 54 cubic centimeters but no more power thanks to the A2 license limit. At 206 kilograms wet it's the heaviest of the initial trio. Costing the equivalent of 5,350 pounds in Germany before on the road charges, it's within 50 pounds of the Lianzino 500's RRP, too.